Hello everyone, welcome to another video from my YouTube channel. Today's video is about two important tools that we use in resource management. These important tools are resource leveling and resource smoothing. In resource management, there might be cases where a resource is over allocated and another resource is under allocated. In order to overcome this, we use the resource leveling. As you can see in the definition here, resource leveling is performed to balance the demand and supply of resources. Resource leveling may change the critical path of the project. Resource leveling is used when the resources are under or over allocated. So the main goal of applying resource leveling is to level the resources which are over or under allocated. As you can see in the resource histogram here, Sean on 3rd of January 2022 has 5 hours of work. On, on 4th of January 2022, Sean will work for 9 hours. On 5th of January, Sean will work for 7 hours. As you see Andrew here, Andrew will work for 8 hours on 3rd January. He will work for 9 hours on 4th and he will work for 11 hours on 5th. Same applies for the other people like Joseph, David and all. So when we have applied the resource leveling here, as you can see, the maximum number of working hours is taken as 8 because it's common almost all around the world. As you can see here, Andrew had to work 9 hours here and 11 hours here, which will be four more hours of work. In order to level this resource, what we have done is move the four hours of work for Andrew to 6th January. Same applies for Joseph. Joseph works nine hours here. One of the working hours from here is moved to here, which has resulted in eight hours here and eight hours here. The next, Joseph works 10 hours in here. Two hours are moved to 6th January. As you can see here, the project is supposed to be completed from January 3rd to January 5th. But now, when we have leveled the resources, it's going to continue from January 3rd to January 6th. Which means that resource leveling will impact the critical path of the project. Besides that, it will level the resources which are over allocated and which are under allocated. In the next slide, we will talk about resource smoothing. Resource smoothing is used when resources are unevenly allocated. It's performed to achieve a more uniform resource utilization over a period of time. It does not affect the critical path. Please bear in mind that in the resource smoothing, time is the constraint. You cannot extend the time anymore. So you are smoothing the resources within the time period that's assigned for the package. As you can see here, our figure from resource leveling, which leveled the resources here. Now, as you can see, Sean is working five hours here is working eight hours here and eight hours here. In the resource smoothing, what we do is deduct the one one hour from here, which will result in seven hours of work here, seven here, seven here. The main goal of resource smoothing is that one resource will work a lot one day and will be idle the next day. In order to overcome that and ensure that the resources 
evenly allocated throughout the project, we perform resource smoothing. For the next resource, who is Andrew? Andrew works 8 hours on January 3rd. Andrew worked 8 hours on January 4th. Andrew worked 8 hours on January 5th. And Andrew worked 4 hours on January 6th. So what we have done here, we deducted one hour from these days, which will be three hours, and added to this four, which is seven hours here, seven hours here, seven, seven hours here. The same is done for other resources. So what it has resulted in is that all the resources work for the same amount of time on each day. This is to ensure that the resources uniformly allocated throughout the project lifetime. I hope this video has helped you understand the resource leveling and resource smoothing and the differences between them. If you want to see more videos like this, please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much.